I tell you, and just a little story. The, the first time I met, I saw him. He had given a Sunday service. After Sunday service, just a little little temple. And after the service, most people went to him and to, to greet him. And when I stood in front of him, he didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. He just took my hand. And the moment he touched me, I was drunk. And completely drunk. Now, that was the real stuff. That was the line of the mystics, you know. That was not... You know. <laughs> You know, I thought I had experienced joy before. Then I knew. He talked about bliss consciousness. I knew. He gave me just a little more than I could hold. Unbelievable. Bliss. First time I had a little touch of bliss. And I walked out, I was completely drunk. I couldn't walk straight. I was, I was, I was like this, you know. Not only that, I was alone, and I couldn't contain it. I laughed loud out, <laughs> just completely drunk. And people in the street, they were utterly disgusted. <laughs> they, they shook their heads and went way out of my way. I didn't care. It took me several hours to simmer down. So that was the first experience. The second experience was when I had an interview with him. And he asked me questions about my studies and about my life and all that sort of thing. And I saw that the way he phrased the questions, I knew he didn't need any information. He knew me better than I did. And that is a remarkable experience. I can tell you, if somebody knows you completely, no ordinary human being can do that. And that can be, you know, if somebody knows everything about you, all your mistakes you have made and everything. But there was more. There was understanding. No judgment. It was understanding. And unconditional love. And that is a combination, you know, you cannot find this in the world. 